Hi everybody, welcome back to Mad Fred Studios, Boudica here. So we are picking up on part 28 of Wildflowers in the previous episode. Angus and Francis finally got married! Um, Lena told me about a uh, wedding ring mold, so I could have a wedding ring made for Kim, because uh, looks like I'm going to be proposing, woohoo! Um, what else happened in the previous episode? I'm trying to recall, but I can't. But anyway! This is part 28, so we will get the mold, is, or the ring is ready, and we also have some gloaming adventures to do as well as I did some scouting ahead. So, let's get rolling. And I finally got some some of the outfits that I patterns that I bought from Violet are ready to be made, which we will do later. So I'm going to make these three. Oh, good, you guys are ready too. Uh, get that one. You are done. Still going. Jack's taking care of the farm and rough. Welcome, all. <sighs> ah, maintaining the glamour over the stone circle and balancing the wellspring is wearing us too thin. Yeah, managing this and the bar, I feel like a slaw. You already were one. I think I know a way to relieve ourselves of this burden. I have some anemone seeds I never planted. What if one of us plants them in the gloaming? Ah. You want to harvest them once they've soaked up magic from the wellspring? Mm. Why can't I just plant them on my farm? That's not as dangerous. Because the soil on your farm isn't soaked in wellspring magic. Anemones are powerful magical plants that only thrive in places close to the wellspring. We could use the flowers to keep the glamour going without as much work. Exactly. Let me be the one to go back. If there are more Echo Blossoms out there, I'm gonna find them all. But you can't go alone. So I'll go with her. You sure you want to? <laughs> How else will I keep my adrenaline pumping? Besides, I promised Grandma that I'd be there for you. Ordinarily, I wouldn't let the two least experienced coven members go into the gloaming unaccompanied, but we're overwhelmed as it is, so... <laughs> if you let yourselves get hurt in there without me, I'll never forgive you. Chill. We got this! <laughs> While we were in there last time, I noticed some spinner web had crossed one of our paths. Their webs are incredibly tough, but dissolve in the light of spirit flame. This lantern will channel the spirit flame to destroy the web. And stop you from accidentally burning your eyebrows off. I'm not sure how many such webs will be in your way, so you may need more spirit flame to get through. You'll need to get past them, as I'm certain there are spots where the anemone will thrive in that direction. Oh, let me work the portal this time. Tara? Let me know when you're ready to go. Ah, so if we have spirit flame. Okay, brief detour, we're going back home. I need to go brew. I should have everything for at least a couple of spirit flames. Cold, there we go. Oh! Get them brewing, we'll only be able to use that one.
Tara, you want to go now? No time like the present. Let's do this. Here we go again. How are you feeling? Excited? Are you kidding? I can't wait to see what we find. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's weird because of my mom and all, but this place fills me with energy. Now, let's find the perfect spot for those anemone seeds. We should follow the adept's advice and look on the other side of that spinner web. Are you coming, Violet? Adorable looking. Looks like I'm all out of juice. I'll need to brew more spirit flame to get through here. Whoa! Did you see that? That terrifying streaky ghost thing? Yeah, hard not to. We better get back to the coven. That thing was headed straight for the portal to the stone circle. Woo! That all turned out fine! I take it back. Holy moly! What happened here? That wraith came straight out of the stone circle. We were so worried about you two. Uh -oh. It's all good, Lena. Nothing happened to us. Is this our fault? That spirit got through because it's been harder and harder to balance the wellspring. Oh, dear lord. Not your doing, so don't worry yourself about it. During summer... Perry mentioned that she was concerned about the wraiths. Well, as well she should be. They're dangerous spirits born of the places where the wellspring's magic has been sucked dry. Some of those djinn have been trapped inside the gloaming for centuries. This one got past us because it's darker than most, and more powerful. We must find and bind that genie again. Can I help? We must wait for it to reveal itself. In the meantime, be careful getting home tonight. I can't get my mom's face out of my mind. She seemed scared, worried, but about what? Ugh, it's keeping me up at night, and I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> what would my dad say if he knew that the coven had let a wraith slip through under my leadership? He'd probably say, this could have happened to anyone. You're probably right, but still. Your gram was a fine witch. Cheers me up to see you follow her footsteps. In your own way, course. I asked Amir to come with me to Perry's shop to pick out the right herbs I need for an incantation. And she was like, no. What's that about?
As with all common knowledge, witchcraft mythology is sprinkled with half-truths and outright fabrications. Things I want, but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. Oh. Guess I better make sure there's nothing else that I need to harvest here and get my butt home. Time for bed. Oh, hi, Lena. What's up? <sighs> Trouble, I think. Mayor Otto has called an emergency town hall meeting, and there's a feeling in the air that has me pretty jumpy. So far, I've had bad experiences with town hall meetings in general, so... All right, let's go. Oh, I guess the farm will have to wait. Oh, dear God, what's he doing now? I don't want to go in there and listen to Otto. Not after last night. Me either. But it'll look suspicious if we don't go. Come on. Thank you all for joining me. I know it's early, but this is an emergency. I received an anonymous tip yesterday that confirms what I suspected. There uh -oh. are witches in Fairhaven. I knew it! I could sense the malcontents! Simmer down, simmer down. What we need now is information. Has anyone seen or heard anything unnatural? I don't like the woods, same as you, but isn't there a less public way to... It's Sophia. Sophia is the witch. I've seen her. Oh no. Doing what? Uh -oh. Going out into the woods late at night. I... I was just looking for Juliet. She didn't come home by curfew. I, Natalia, Sophia's not a witch. She never hurt anyone. Malcontents have a way of tricking the innocent into defending them. I can't believe this. You think... You think I'd really... Quiet! We need order now more than ever. I will investigate Natalia's claims as fully as I can. <gasps> we'll hold a trial for Sophia a week from today. Oh, you can't do that? Wait. Shh! I can. And I have to. Something's been troubling Fairhaven oh, since... Since I was a little boy. And we will figure out what it is. See you all next week. And in the meantime, stay safe. Why would Natalia say that? She always seemed nice. It wasn't Natalia, was it? It was the Wraith. The Wraith's messing with someone already? I don't know Natalia that well. But I, I can't imagine her accusing the warmest person in Fairhaven. Maybe the High Priestess knows how to fix this. We'll find out tonight, yeah? We better. Because we have to fix this. What time is it? She's not open.
Which means I can't get my ring for Kim. Great. I'm heartened that Natalia told us the truth about Sophia. But who am I supposed to get espresso from now? These neighborhood watch all-nighters aren't going to pull themselves. I'm proud of Natalia. Identifying the source of the problems in your life takes courage. But what about Sophia? If she really is a malcontent, or a witch, to use that charmingly outdated term, then this trial is better for her in the long run. Can I string Messenger Cameron up by his toes, please? Oh, I'm dying to do that. Please let me do that. Kim, do you have words of sense, my love? What the frog is wrong with Natalia? Thank you. Witches are not a thing. Well, technically we are, but... All those heavy metals have gone to Natalia's brain. She needs a vacation, or at least a swift dunk in the lake. That'll bring her to her senses. That's what you think, son. I can't believe Natalia's tossing around accusations of witchcraft. And don't think I didn't notice that she's part of Otto's friendly neighborhood watch. Is it just me, or was that a really weird town hall meeting? I never got bad vibes from Natalia or Sophia before. It feels like this is all coming out of nowhere. What is up with Natalia? Sophia is no bruja. I speak from experience here. Um, you do? I don't want to get into it. But trust me, Sophia is not a witch, or a malcontent, or whatever Your Cameron wants to call her. A bruja. So, Tara, Natalia's accusation of Sophia, is that real? I'm afraid so. I thought perhaps this was some sort of island-wide elaborate live-action <laughs> role-playing game. Hi, Kiva. Which would have been odd enough, but this... I'm not sure what to think. Ay, 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 ay. See what Angus has to say. <gasps> oh, God, that shop. Malcontents and witches are the same thing. I can't believe I never made that connection before. So you believe in witches then? Yeah. And they're really, really dangerous. Be no. careful, Tara. No, we're not. It's those who don't understand... Which is, is what makes them seem dangerous. If you don't understand something, it's scary and dangerous. Talia, can I slap the fuck out of you, sweetheart? Okay, I finished making your wedding ring. Good luck. Are you feeling okay, Natalia? Sure, sure. Just grateful I saw what Sophia was up to. It's a shame. I really liked her. Goes to show that anyone can be a malcontent. We need to go see Perry. We will as soon as I take care of the farm. I've got animals to take care of. Hang 
on my chickies. I'll be back. Well, we have to do something. What's the point of having magic at all if we don't use it to help that poor lady? I use my magic to help all the time. But I help creatures, not humans. Humans destroy each other. It's all that makes them unique. Ahem. As the only one of us who used to be a human, let me say that isn't true. Humans are afraid of what they don't know. But so are the Fae. We're not different. And I can't hold up here, watching Sophia suffer. Say you help her. What if you're discovered? Hmm? What if you transform? Interfering with human affairs does more harm than good. I would know. But you're... Wait, wait, can't I just... Oh, drat, I don't like this. Perry and I are hundreds of years old. We've seen scads of witch trials. Never ends well. And as the senior members of Ravenwood Hollow, we're breaking this tie. No interfering. Ah, well, horse feathers. How much of that did you hear? Uh, enough to get the gist. No helping. A decision I have to abide by, technically. But if there's anything you need... Wow. Thanks, Wesley. That's very generous of you. In case we need them. And in case we need that. <laughs> Why not? Jeez. Wesley tells me someone in your village was accused of being a witch. Yes, but it wasn't someone in our coven. I feel terrible. Sophia is completely innocent. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with being what we are. You must be more careful. If they ensnare one of you, you won't be able to keep the wellspring in balance. Then more innocents will suffer. You twice blasted little. Did you just electrocute yourself? Yes, again. Oh, I, I was fiddling <laughs> with these wires, but it, it's so dang hard to get an electrical charge reading without my versorium. So, pfft, pfft, over and over. S sorry, without your what now? My versorium. It's an incantation powered device that detects electric charges. I use it for everything. Charge up wires with magical energy, and you've got dangerous currents on your hands. Except I haven't seen the Versorium since I last went into the mines. So you lost it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Classic Zephyr. Oh, I love Zephyr. Hey, uh, if you see a little <laughs> metal box covered in runes down there, uh, yeah, could you pick it up? Sure. As long as it doesn't spark my fingers off. Amira, how do you know so much about wraiths? Or is... is Jin more correct? They are the same. Jin is just the word I learned first. My ex, Sahar, had a reputation. The, the good kind. She was the most talented witch in Tehran. I accompanied her while I was an initiate. And I saw how firmly Jin latch on to the fear they find within people. Hmm. Huh? 
I'm sorry, girls. Come on. It's been a rather uh, eventful day. girls. Okay. My Jack. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. Ooh. I wonder if she's a Damon's bar. What have I ever done to Natalia except commiserate over all those worthless exes of hers? I didn't think we were as close as sisters, but I... I thought we were friends. Gift for you. <gasps> oh, you beat me to it. Oh. Him? Of course. When? Let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe next week. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I just got excited. I'll set everything up at the Silver Willow Tree. Woohoo! <laughs> yes. Engaged. So happy. All right, I'm grabbing the stuff and then we're grabbing the coven. You know me, I gotta harvest. All right, is there any conch shells? Cause I do am going to be needing, oh, I need a pearl. That'll work. All right, let's go. Did you get a chance to examine Natalia? I did. I asked her to stop by the clinic for a cup of tea. And? It's as we all feared. 
The wraith that escaped the gloaming last night has possessed Natalia. This is all my fault. If we hadn't gone into the gloaming... That shouldn't have destabilized the wellspring so profoundly. Something strange is going on. How do we get Natalia to take back what she said? This happened to a cousin of mine when I was a boy. Banishment is the only way to make a wraith leave for good. That's complicated magic. Well, complicated problems call for complicated magic, don't mm, they now? We'll sure. need something Natalia's made with her hands. Next, something that carries a memory dear to her. And we will need a sapphire to capture the genie, and fennel seed powder to bind it. Fennel seed powder? If you grow some fennel, you can pound it up in your mortar and pestle. Can't I just grind up the seeds instead of growing them? Nonsense. We need fresh seeds from fresh fennel. Novice, can you gather these four things? I'll do my best. Bring the things that hold a part of Natalia, what she's made, and what carries a memory to me once you've got them. I'll look within them. If they're powerful enough, I'll show you how to make the banishment incantation. Be swift. Sophia only has a week until her trial. Alright, so... Got everything I just need. I've got funnel, thank god. Come on, Violet. Oh man, I need one of Zephyr's whirly gigs in here to water these things. Four days. A little caterpillar with wings. So adorable. more echo blossoms do you want to listen to it <laughs> what kind of question is that mm. ever since i was a little girl the wraiths have been getting stronger once when i was 10 a wraith escaped took over poor mr gibson and he let all his cows loose <laughs> it was funny then not so funny now i heard about mr gibson but i had no idea he set his cows loose because of a wraith what else could my mom have told me if she'd been there? I'm sorry, Violet. Don't be sorry. Coming here is the closest I've gotten to her for years. Four days, okay. So we're pretty much stuck until then. All right, come on, Violet.
Is it time for bed? Planty, water some plants for me today. No, oh, Jack, you're so cute. Are you sure you saw Sophia out there? What if it was Emmy or Finn playing tricks? I thought it might be them at first, but I have this feeling. I'm certain it's Sophia. I don't feel certain about a lot of things, so this is different, new. Hammer. Natalia must have a deep attachment to it. She'll never let me take it while she's here, though. The lockpick spell. Of course. It's empty.
Alright, let's turn it tonight. Uh, first time, that's not what I want. Here we go. Oh. Do I have that? I know I do, I just didn't make it. Alcoholic? Well, yeah. Oh, God, that'll do it. <laughs> I'll just get drunk and do some incantations. Why not? What's the worst that could go wrong? The daylight yawns and goes to bed, and now the moon comes out instead. Spring latches bolts pins, open up and let me in. Let's make sure those seats got watered. Or need it before we go doing that. Arseer, I have something to show you. Good, good. Hand it to me, and I'll read it. How do you read something without words? You give it a darn close look, of course. <laughs> mm. Let's see. Careful, man, careful. What are you doing? Who? Ah, she would curse you, wouldn't she? She's bitter. Tell me what you're seeing. You can't see? Ah, sorry. I saw a man. Must have been Natalia's pa. And a woman. Not Natalia's ma. Daughter of the local Bobka. Bobka? Oh. Isn't that a pastry? It no. also means spirit whisperer. A witch. Looks like Natalia's pa fell in love with a Bobka's daughter back in Russia. But the girl died. And the Bobka cursed her pa with bad luck. A curse that he passed on to his daughter, years later. Natalia. That's right. You've done well, novice. We can use this for the incantation. Come back when you've got something else to show me. Here, Farseer. 
Something else that holds a bit of Natalia in it. How about this iron she made? I've been looking forward to this. I want to see how Natalia's story goes. So do I. So many miles above the sea. Wh I'll wait for him to finish. Oh, there you are, Miss Kuznetsova. <gasps> and there's the babka, still alive. I've aged better than her. <laughs> what did Natalia do? She flew all the way back to her pa's village in Russia to ask the babka to lift the curse. Brave of her, the babka gave her an old hammer. This hammer belonged to Natalia's grandpa's pa and told her that if she used the hammer, her fortunes would be set right. So that's why she became a blacksmith so suddenly. Seems that way. Huh. But Natalia still thinks she suffers from misfortune. Did the babka lie? Uh, don't know. No surprise that Natalia's fed up with witches, though. You can get started on this incantation, novice. Finding out which parts of Natalia the wraith latched onto was the hard part. Since Ma went back to lead that coven outside of Johannesburg, they've had to banish a few wraiths. But their coven is like six times the size of ours. So am I nervous? Yes, very. Wow, did not know that. Let's see what Lena's got to say. Don't delay in gathering the supplies we'll need to banish the wraith from Natalia. I want to believe that she and Otto will stop before they go too far, but we can't take risks. Yay, Mandrake. I do need some. Okay, folks, I think we're going to cut it for this episode. Woohoo, it's finally picking up! Well, that's what I've noticed about this game. It has exciting parts that kind of roll and pick up, and then there's like two or three days um, in between things before things can happen. Or if you need to go see somebody, you have to wait till their shops open and this and that. And that's the only thing that really drives me nuts is the waiting period in between a constant rolling storyline. But hey, it's a, it's um you know it's a sim style farming game. That's okay. Let her run around a bit, so. I gotta get to bed anyway, so. Alright. Well, I will catch you guys on part 29. I am looking forward to Kim and I's wedding day, and on the next one, we will, um, we will do the incantation, banish the wraith, and then see where we go from there. And by then, the magic bean bridge should be done so we can go across further in the glowing. So with that, I will talk to you guys later and bye for now.